Here is a DGT chess clock with some functionality that is so simple to use that anyone can learn to use it in, in a couple minutes. What they have done is taken out the advanced functionality and given you a basic timer, a countdown timer, and even a count up timer. And this is suitable for chess clubs or scholastic chess, young players, or anyone really that wants a timer that is a chess timer. It doesn't have anything extra. So I'm going to demonstrate the features and how to use it. This would be a five minute game and the player on this side starting, so this player will start the timer and the game will continue. At any point the game can be paused with this button on the top. You can't change the times or adjust the times and uh, you could continue playing. Here are some additional things you can do. Other than pausing the time, if you want to play a new game, you'll press the power button and hold it down. If you accidentally press the power button, it will not do anything. That's a good thing. So when I turn the clock on with the power button, you'll see I have a five minute game again. If you want to go up to a 10 minute game, you'll simply press this plus button a few times. There you have 10 minutes or 15, 20, 30 minute game and so on. So as you can see, it's very quick to set a new time control. This does not have delay, increment, or any of those um, other conveniences. Again, this clock is designed to be a clock. What we see here as well is that there's a little uh, music note. That means at the end or 10 seconds or less, there will be a warning sound that the time, a player's time is about to expire. If you prefer not to have that on, just turn the clock on by holding the power button down. As you can see, when I turn it on and hold it down, that turns on. When I turn it on holding it down, it turns off. So that's how you'll change that feature. Let's say you would like a count up mode. That is available if you set the time to zero first. You could even play one minute chess also called bullet or lightning chess on the internet, or less. I'm not sure who would want to play less than one minute per side, but here we are at zero. So this is a count up timer. This means this clock can be used for quite a variety of different games. The reason there's so little functionality in this timer is that the price is uh, much lower and therefore the, in bulk they're accessible to uh, clubs and organizers. If you power the clock off and power it on again, you will see the last mode. I'll demonstrate that once more by bringing it back up to the five minute game. There the game is started. I'll pause the game, turn off the clock, and there I have a new game. One additional thing to keep in mind is that it's powered with a single AA battery, which is of course easy to replace. It does come with the clock. They don't recommend rechargeable batteries. Just use a single AA battery and uh, enjoy your chess.